Stephanie and welcome in my art studio uh, kitchen. So this week is going to be super hot, at least for me. It's going to be 30 degrees Celsius, no clue what that is in Fahrenheit, so you have to check that out for yourself. And 30 degrees Celsius outside means 35, 36 in my art studio which is way too much for me to work in. So we moved my computer downstairs in the kitchen, which is cool and fresh at a breezy 24 degrees, something like that. And I'm probably going to paint this week. I have started to paint this weekend a lot. I have finished my Skillshare class about colors just now, just published it. We are Tuesday, very proud of myself. And I'm just going to paint a little bit. I've been painting this weekend and I've been painting today and it was loads of fun. And I feel like my work needs a little bit more references and some kind of freshness to it. So I'm just going to focus on painting today and maybe tomorrow as well. I have all my references books downstairs and I'm simply going to paint stuff. I love using reference books, but I prefer using my own references. So what I usually do is I pick pictures or photographs from things that I'm interested in. I paint, draw or sculpt it. And then I will use my paintings and sculptures as references in my own artwork. That way I don't directly use the photograph and it makes me think a little bit more because I already simplified it once. It is already a lot more personal and so I can easily work on my own artwork and be more focused on my style. I would like my inner imagination to grow a little bit bigger so I can do whatever I want without any sort of need of reference and more have reference references around me to remind me of everything I could do. So that's the plan for this week, at least for now. I'm also going to be away next week, which means I am going to prepare some videos for YouTube because you are awesome and I want to make videos for you. So I already have ideas about the videos I'm going to make next week. I want to make a speed painting. I've recorded the painting of Persephone and of Zamara and also of my rainbow dragonfly. So I'm feeling um, these could be great speed painting videos, which always come out on Monday or speed, uh, speed sculpting often, but I want to add the speed painting as well. And then I have planned to talk about style and inspiration, which seems to be the thing you are most interested about. It's a question that comes so often that I feel I need to tackle it, and so that's the plan. So videos and painting for this week, that should be fun. I started to paint tentacles and I used some craft colored paper from Clairefontaine, which is a French brand, and the acrylic paint from Golden Open. I really like using those paints because they don't dry as fast as regular acrylics, and I keep going back to them. I know there are also slow drying mediums that you can add to the paint and I actually have some at home, but truthfully I find it so much easier to just use paint as it comes and then mix the colors and start painting. For this small painting I used only the golden open acrylics ones, but for the bigger paintings I tend to use regular acrylics for the background as I make very clean backgrounds that are fast to put into place and then I work with the slow drying acrylic so I have time to dwell on details. I've also heard of water-based oil paintings, so oil paintings that you can use with water or wash off with water, I'm not sure how it works. And there's also Genesis that you can paint like using any kind of oil painting but that you then heat with a heat gun to set into place. I really want to try out both, but I have so much acrylics at home that I'd rather use those first. And then I don't also I don't own a heat gun, so buying Genesis, the those paintings, and then not having the materials to actually dry them through heat. I don't know, I don't really want to invest in like thousands of different materials to try. Painting is currently creeping back into my artistic research, so you will see more of it in the future and I've been really enjoying it.
Now for the scales, I started with some Indian ink marker from Faber Castell. Then I went to make watercolor washes and ended up adding acrylic highlights and shadows. Pretty straightforward and pretty usual technique that everyone seems to be using right now. So Indian ink marker, watercolor and acrylic to add highlights and shadows. I, I've seen it everywhere and it's such an easy and welcoming technique, so to speak. It's mixed media, but it's easy to use and it's fast and it's fun. The scales themselves are very repetitive work, thus also very meditative. I might need to make a bigger painting where I focus on scales somehow. I really like the scales. So I'm still in my kitchen. The lighting is pretty bad, <laughs> but that's fine and it's it's nice and fresh. So that's good. I'm actually, maybe you are wondering why my kitchen is so much more cooler than the rest of my house. Well, basically what is happening is that we have levels and See, those are stairs and you go up and then here is my terrace out there and my studio is up up there so there's some glass here that lets the light in and this is my kitchen. Kind of like a super quick house tour, I guess. And yeah, what have I done yesterday? I have done this weird tentacles. <laughs> that kind of remind me of Dragon Ball. The colors, I don't know. It's, it's something, the green and the pink, I don't know. But I kind of like it. Um, I like the shape and, and so on. So I enjoyed making it. Though I don't love the colors, but that's fine. It's, it's more to try things out. And I also did this scales. It's not quite finished yet. It still needs a little bit more highlights. But yeah, I've been obsessed with scales for some time and I've been wanting to do something about it. So I'm happy I did it. And I think it's always interesting to kind of go with the flow and do what you want to do because you realize certain things about what you like best. And in my case, it's I realize more and more that I really like to work with the same thing over and over again. So kind of a bit obsessive, but the scales, it's like the same shape repeated a thousand times and in the tentacles it's a little bit similar as well so yeah i think and pretty obvious in my own work i've been using overusing actually certain types of corals so today i'm probably going to paint again i already edited a video this morning it's uh it's it's not early <laughs> It's half past nine, so it's not super early, but I finished the video for Monday. Um, so this video should be up on Friday on YouTube, but on Monday I already have a speed painting that is exporting right now and that I'm going to put on my channel. I really hope you like it. It's going to be the speed painting of my mantis and mushroom painting, Persephone. I, if you follow me on Instagram, I posted about it a month ago or something like that. Uh, so it's not a new painting but I did film the whole process and I've, I've been wanting to put a video about it on YouTube. Probably ought to put a small version of that video on my Instagram as well. Videos do well on Instagram. I haven't brushed my teeth yet. <laughs> that sounds so awful. I, I had breakfast just like half an hour or so ago while editing my video, which is now exporting. First going to brush my teeth and then I'm just going to get painting. I don't want to paint. You know what? I want to use my 
pencils, my colored pen, colored pencils. I think today I'm going to use my colored pencils just to kind of have a little bit of fun. And I also, I really like these days to kind of switch mediums all the time and I don't really feel like sculpting, so why not go with pencils? leg right imagine if we would have hair like that on our legs would never shave again anyway it I knew I was going to want to sculpt after this one which is now my hands are itching <laughs> to sculpt so I will forgo the only painting week <laughs> and just dive into sculpting because that's that's what I do. I follow I follow hunches and ideas. Honestly, it might seem like artists always indulge into you know what they want to do, and it's yeah we it's it's true <laughs> we absolutely do that. And I think it's really important for an artist to actually indulge in what the artist wants because that's how an artist grows so I will indulge in what I fancy and start sculpting and I have about two and a half hours left and then I have a vet appointment for my oldest cat so we'll see how that goes <laughs> back from the vet with my oldest cat. I did some sculpting before but it's it's a long process. I took probably just one hour to get all my color mixes so that took a while and yeah now I'm going it's f half past five something like that. It's half past five and I am going to continue sculpting. Most likely I'm going to sculpt the whole evening uh, minus eating of course and yeah, that's pretty much the plan for tonight and I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, we are Thursday and I am going to go to the postal office now. I just fed the cat, but it's still eating actually, so you might hear the munching noises in the background. I am going to sculpt as well today. And to be honest, I'm 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 not in a great place. <laughs> but uh, that's fine, I guess. It just happens. Um, I'm kind of filled with doubt since yesterday. The usual doubt that comes with an artist's life. Like, why are you doing this? What's the point? <laughs> Why bother continuing to work so hard? So usually when, when those doubts happen, and they happen on a regular basis, I just ignore them the best I can and keep going because in the end sculpting and making art makes me happy and that's really all that matters. But yeah, sometimes I get frustrated about the whole situation and so right now I'm... I'm <laughs> yeah, I'm... I'm in that state of mood, so I'm probably going to get something nice to eat for breakfast. I haven't had breakfast yet, so I'm going to go to the postal office and I'm probably going to stop at a bakery and, and get some nice bread or something. I hope this day is going to be a little bit better than how the day from yesterday ended. I really think the sculpting will help me out. That's pretty much it, so just let's get moving.
are Friday, last day of this vlog. I just edited most of this video. I'm, I'm actually pretty fast now, so I'm happy about that. I would like to wrap this video up with some advice. As you have seen this week, I've been struggling a little bit with doubt, but you've also seen some of my creative process. If you're an artist, you're going to learn to have to deal with doubt and also need to find how your creative process works. It really is very... Uh, it depends from one person to another. It's going to be dramatically different. But the doubt, um, I don't know any artist that doesn't doubt on a regular basis, so it's really part of the deal. And when you are doubting, uh, what is really important to keep in mind is why you are doing art. And this is usually super personal. It's rarely about money. My way to deal with doubt is to remind myself that if I were really rich, I would do pretty much exactly the same that I'm doing right now. I would probably not be so aggressively trying to sell my work. I would not market it as much, but I would still want to share it and I would still want to do what I do and I would work on the same themes and my life would not be as different as it is now. I just would, it would be more comfortable, you know? I would travel probably more often and I would eat fancier foods or I don't know, it just, I would be less stressed, for that's for sure, but the core of my life, it would be the same. I would still be doing art. And I think when you do art, it's really key to remind yourself why you are doing it. It's not, it's not about the others, it's really about you and being honest with yourself. You really need to understand why you are doing art, what drives you, what motivates you. Some people, they like to do art for the sake of creating and working with colors, or they're really interested in lines, or they like to sculpt and use clay or use their hands. It doesn't really matter, but it's really about what m makes you tick, what matters to you, you know, what is in your guts. If you can point down what is so crucial to your life and to your happiness, then in those moments of doubt, and they will come, especially if you are trying to make a living as an artist, even if you have a day job and just do art in the evening, you will have doubts once in a while just about why you're doing this. And you really need to remind yourself why art is so important to you. Because if you can't find the importance of art in your life, it's going to fade away and you're going to stop doing art. Which might be fine, you have to be honest with yourself. Maybe art is not something that you want to do all the time. That's also okay, This it's not like... Everyone has to do art. More often than not, it's more about some artists, they stop not because they don't like doing art, but just because they feel overwhelmed and frustrated and then they give up. Giving up is okay for many reasons. Sometimes we move on and we change and we do something else, but it's not okay if it's just out of frustration, in the sense that you are going to maybe not regret it, but suffer from it at some point. Because if you remove what is the most crucial to your own happiness and to your own living, what makes sense to you as a human, then you are going to be left with maybe uh, a day job that brings you money and you maybe have, are going to have a certain financial peace of mind, but at the core you are going to lack something crucial to your brain and to your emotions. And so this is why I think it's really important to understand that doubt is going to come and that you have to deal with it and to deal with it right, because life goes by so fast and if you don't do what you love, you are going to end up frustrated and probably sad at the end of your life and you don't want that. Life's too short for that. So on these very wise words, I will leave you. I'm going to finish editing this video and upload it today. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make a video for next Friday, to be honest. I am tired. <laughs> and I think that's also why I had doubts and was a bit in a bad mood these past days. When I feel a little bit exhausted and I overwork, and I've been clearly overworking for months now, for a year. It's since since I started the whole thing, I, I've been overworking. No, for years, I've been overworking for... Let's just start, stop dwelling on that. I would need a real break and I've, I haven't been able to have one. I don't... I don't really know how to have a break these days. I always 
end up making uh, art. Unlike other artists who struggle with like not having ideas and not doing things or being uninspired, for me it's quite the contrary. I work too much, that's my problem. I, I really work too much and I don't really know how to have a proper break. So that's something I need to work on because I feel like I'm... Right now it's a little bit critical. <laughs> but holidays are arriving. Next week I'm with my mom. My boyfriend also has planned some holidays in August. I don't know, I'm rambling now, so I'm just going to stop this video so I can finish that sculpture and who knows, maybe I can make a video about style and inspiration before I go for next week. Doubtful. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlogging, this art studio kitchen vlog. I hope this is kind of insightful for you, I don't know. Maybe it's stupid. I'm just going to stop this. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you liked it. If you don't like it, then I'm sorry. <laughs> Leave a comment. Um, I don't know. Just live your life, be happy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!